Yeah, hi. We are from SVS Embedding. The project title name is IoT based smart shopping cart using RFID and Node MCU ESP8266. So, in this project, we are using a power supply module EM18 RFID module with 125 kilohertz frequency, 8 centimeter distance RFID reader module. There are 4 RFID tags with a unique uh, ID number. Node MCU ESP8266, one green LED indicator whether card is scanned or not, indicator LED, 16 cross 2 LCD display, character LCD display, whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the LCD, we are connected I2C LCD display and one add or delete button and one final switch button. There are 4 RFID cards, so here we are using one 230 input step down transformer and 9 volts output AC with 750 milliamp transformer bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator 1 LED 5 volts power supply module node MCU ESP8266 it requires the hotspot internet so here we are using one project project 1234 so in the mobile phone go to mobile hotspot internet mobile hotspot okay if you press it it will open the username and password so username is project and the password is project1234 all are small letters so it requires okay it requires the hotspot and em18 rfid module 16 cross 2 lc display and final switch button and here is the on off button so it is delete the product lcd on and item increment so must and should always it should be up direction only okay if it is done di down direction the lcd will not on always starts with upward only okay so now i'm going to start the power supply okay so it should be upward so it will display the so i so here esp8266 when you open it, it will show you the IP address 192.168.43.212. So here is the reset button is there on onboard reset button. So it will show you the IP address also. Wi-Fi connecting 192.168. So this is my Wi-Fi hotspot internet. If you are using your hotspot, it should be different. Okay. Then go to. Then press it. 192 dot okay so here is the biscuit biscuit soap lace 000 cost is zero if you press final switch button the cost is zero products is zero item is zero okay 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 now I am going to add the items. So this is lace. Lace added and the expiry date. So here one item added lace 1 55 rupees. Final bill is 55. Okay. So I am going for the dairy milk. Okay. Dairy milk also added. Two items added. So dairy milk 1 45 rupees. Okay. Now I am going for the third item. Soap. So, one item added 38, 138. So, if you see the final bill, if I am pressing the final bill, three items are added and the cost is 138. Here also 138 item is. So, final bill is 138. So, now I am going for the fourth item. Biscuit, expiry date. Okay. So, 173 total cost. So, if I am pressing this. 4 items 173 okay so now i'm going to add the uh, items double items biscuit so item 1 it goes to item 2 so quantity 2 this is in the form of adding 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 side the button is in the form of increment side okay like that you can fast fast you can add it also 
the LED indicator shows that item is added once it is gone you can add another item okay the quantities are displaying okay so shopping cart 2 3 2 3 okay 429 if I press 10 items added 10 items 429 10 items 429 now I am going for the uh, deleting the item press down okay now I am deleting the item soap removed okay dairy milk removed lace removed okay lace removed okay lace are zero quantity zero bill is zero if i am going for the same card removing it is showing not in cart okay now goes to dairy milk 145 now i am going for the dairy milk is also zero okay now same card not not in cart okay so the quantity is only four item biscuits to soap to bill is 146 four items bill is 146 okay so now i am going for the biscuit removing biscuit one 35 rupees okay So biscuit one 35 rupees okay so all are zero 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 okay if I am going to press this button total item zero price is zero so if I am going to show any card not in a card not in a card not in a card okay why this is in the deleting position if items goes to on product items increment go to increment side then you can add the item lace added expiry date okay dairy milk added expiry date okay soap added expiry date <coughs> biscuit added expiry date like that you can add the quantity also okay so 230 input step down transformer 9 volts output AC power 5 volts power supply module EM18 RFID module and uh, alarm 16 cross 2 LC display node MCO ESP8266 final switch button increment decrement switch button okay then if you are going to press the 311 311 7 quantity 7 quantity okay so we can send the data to other other whatever if you need other pc or something you can add any other zigbee module you can send remote also so this is a uh, i smart iot shopping trolley using node mcu esp8266 so thanking you if there is any doubt let me know blog diagram thank you